What is Python? Python is a high-level, interpreted, and general-purpose programming language. Created by Guido van Rossum and first released in 1991, Python has become one of the most popular and widely used programming languages in the world. Key features of Python include Simple and readable syntax. Python is designed to have a clean and straightforward syntax, making it easy to learn and understand. This readability is one of the reasons why it is often considered an excellent language for beginners and experienced developers alike. Interpreted language. Python is an interpreted language, meaning that the code is executed line by line by an interpreter, rather than being compiled into machine code before execution. This allows for easier debugging and a faster development cycle. High-level language. Python abstracts many low-level details, making it user-friendly and focused on solving problems rather than dealing with system-specific nuances. Versatile and cross-platform. Python can run on various operating systems, including Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and more. It also supports multiple programming paradigms, such as procedural, object-oriented, and functional programming. Large standard library. Python comes with an extensive standard library, which provides modules and packages for a wide range of tasks, such as string manipulation, file I.O., networking, web development, and more. This batteries included philosophy makes Python highly productive. Dynamic typing. Python is dynamically typed, meaning variable types are determined at runtime. This gives developers flexibility but also requires careful attention to data types. Open source and community driven. Python is an open source language, and its development is driven by a large and active community. This has resulted in a vast ecosystem of third-party libraries and frameworks. Scalable and extensible, Python is suitable for projects of various sizes. From small scripts to large-scale applications. It allows integration with other languages like C and C++ to improve performance for critical sections of code. Python is widely used in various domains, including web development, scientific computing, data analysis, artificial intelligence, automation, scripting, game development, and more. Its popularity is due to its simplicity, versatility, and the strong community support it enjoys. Could you give me step-by-step -step instructions on how to learn Python? Certainly. Learning Python can be an exciting journey, and here are step-by-step -step instructions to help you get started. Set goals and motivation. Determine why you want to learn Python. Knowing your goals will help you stay motivated throughout the learning process. Choose learning resources. There are various ways to learn Python, such as online tutorials, video courses, books, interactive platforms, and coding boot camps. Choose the method that suits your learning style and budget. Install Python. Download and install the latest version of Python from the official website, https colon slash slash www.python.org slash downloads. Make sure to choose the appropriate version for your operating system. Basics of Python. Start with the basics of Python. Learn about variables, data types, operators, and basic input, output. Control flow. Understand control flow statements like if else, loops, for and while, and conditional expressions, ternary operator. Functions and modules. Learn how to define and use functions. Explore the concept of modules and how to import them. Data structures. Study lists, tuples, dictionaries, and sets. Understand how to manipulate and work with these data structures effectively. File handling. Learn how to read from and write to files in Python. This is essential for handling data storage and processing. Object-oriented programming, OOP. Get familiar with OOP concepts like classes, objects, inheritance, and encapsulation. This is crucial for building more complex applications. Error handling. Learn about exception handling to effectively manage errors and unexpected behavior in your programs. Libraries and frameworks. Explore popular Python libraries and frameworks based on your interests. For example, for web development, you can learn Flask or Django. For data science, you can explore NumberPy, Pandas, and Matplotlib. Practice, practice, practice. Coding is a skill that improves with practice. Work on small coding exercises, challenges, and personal projects to reinforce your learning. Join a community. Participate in Python forums, communities, and social media groups. Engage with others, ask questions, and share your knowledge. Work on projects. Build real-world projects that interest you. Project will help you apply what you've learned and give you a sense of accomplishment. Review and refine. Regularly review your code and previous projects. Identify areas for improvement and continuously refine your skills. Stay updated. Python is a dynamic language. And new features and improvements are released regularly. Stay up to date with the latest changes in Python. Remember, learning Python, or any programming language, takes time and patience. Don't get discouraged by challenges, instead, view them as opportunities to grow. Celebrate your progress and keep pushing yourself to learn more. Happy coding! Could you explain the basics of Python for beginners? Certainly. Let's cover the basics of Python for beginners. Printing and comments. To print output to the console, use the print function. For example, print, hello, world. Comments start with the hashtag symbol and are ignored by the Python interpreter. They are used to add notes or explanations to the code. Variables and data types. Variables are used to store data. You don't need to declare the data type explicitly, Python infers it. Common data types include integers, age equals 25, floats, height equal 
strings, name equals John. Booleans, is underscore student equals true. Arithmetic operators. Python supports standard arithmetic operators, plus, addition, subtraction, asterisk, multiplication, forward slash, division, percent, modulus. Exponentiation. Input from user. To get input from the user, use the input, function, name equals input, enter your name. Control flow. If else, execute code based on a condition. If age greater than or equal to 18. Print, you are an adult. Else. Print, you are a minor. Loops. For loop, iterate over a sequence, example, list, string. For i in range, 5. Print, i. While loop, execute code while a condition is true. Count equals 0, while count 5. Print, count. Count plus equals 1. Functions. Functions are reusable blocks of code that perform specific tasks. Defining a function. Def greet, name. Print, hello, plus name. Calling a function, greet, Alice. Lists. Lists are ordered collections of items. Creating a list, fruits equals, apple, banana, orange. Accessing elements, print, fruits, zero, outputs, apple. Modifying elements, fruits, one, equals, grape. Dictionaries. Dictionaries store key value pairs. Creating a dictionary, person equals, name, John, age, 30. Accessing values, print, person, name, outputs, John. Conditionals, ternary operator. Short way to write if else statements in a single line. Syntax, result equals value underscore if underscore true if condition else value underscore if underscore false. String manipulation. Strings can be concatenated using the plus operator, full underscore name equals first underscore name plus plus last underscore name. Use string methods for various manipulations. Like len, upper, lower, split, strip, etc. Remember, practice is key to mastering Python. Work on small coding exercises and projects to apply what you've learned. As you progress, you can explore more advanced topics like object-oriented programming, file handling, and working with external libraries. Happy coding! How do you explain Python to 10 years old kid? Hey there! Python is like having a friendly and smart robot friend that understands and follows your instructions. Imagine you have a magical notebook, and whenever you write something in it, your robot friend reads it and does what you ask. In Python, you write instructions using simple words and commands that are easy to understand. For example, you can tell your robot friend to say, hello, to you like this. Print, hello. Your robot friend will then show, hello, on the screen for you to see. Python is really good at doing math too. If you want your robot friend to add two numbers for you, you can write. Result equals 5 plus 3. Print, result. The robot will figure out that 5 plus 3 equals 8 and show it to you on the screen. Python can remember things too. You can tell your robot friend to remember your name in a special box called a variable. Let's say your name is Alex. Name equals Alex. Print, hello, plus name plus, exclamation point. Your robot friend will keep your name in the name box and say, hello, Alex, for you. Python can also make decisions just like you do. You can tell your robot friend to do something only if a condition is true. For example, if you have a toy car and you want to play with it only if it's not raining outside. Is underscore raining equals false. If not is underscore raining. Print, let's play with the toy car. Else. Print, let's play indoors. If it's not raining, is underscore raining is false, your robot friend will suggest playing with the toy car. But if it's raining, the robot will suggest playing indoors. Python is a super fun and friendly language. And you can teach it to do many exciting things, like drawing, making games, or even helping with homework. Just remember to be creative and have fun with your robot friend, Python. Can you provide me with some exercises to practice Python? Absolutely. Here are some Python exercises to practice and have fun with. Exercise 1, Hello, World. Write a program that prints, Hello, World, to the screen. Exercise 2, Sum of two numbers write a program that takes two numbers as input and prints their sum. Exercise 3, Odd or Even write a program that asks the user for a number and tells if it's odd or even. Exercise 4, Multiplication Table write a program that takes a number as input and prints its multiplication table from 1 to 10. Exercise 5, Factorial write a program that takes a number as input and prints its factorial. Exercise 6, Palindrome check write a program that takes a string as input and checks if it's a palindrome, reads the same forwards and backwards. Exercise 7, Fizzbuzz write a program that prints numbers from 1 to 50. For multiples of 3, print fizz instead of the number. For multiples of 5, print buzz. For numbers that are multiples of both 3 and 5, print fizzbuzz. Exercise 8, prime numbers write a program that takes a number as input and checks if it's a prime number. Exercise 9, reversing a list write a program that takes a list of numbers as input and prints the list in reverse order. Exercise 10, rock, paper, scissors game write a program that lets the user play the classic rock, paper, scissors game against the computer. Exercise 11, guess the number write a program that generates a random number between 1 and 100 and lets the user guess the number. Exercise 12, Fibonacci sequence write a program that prints the Fibonacci sequence up to a given number of terms. Exercise 13, file handling write a program that reads a text file, counts the number of words in it, and prints the result. Exercise 14, 
Calculator write a simple calculator program that can perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Exercise 15. Pig Latin Translator write a program that takes a word as input and converts it to Pig Latin. For example, Python becomes if and pay. Feel free to modify or expand these exercises to make them more challenging or tailor them to your interests. Happy coding. Can you create a quiz on Python with 10 questions? Of course. Here's a Python quiz with 10 questions. Each question has multiple choice options, and the correct answers are marked with an asterisk, asterisk symbol. Good luck. Which of the following is a correct way to declare a variable in Python? A. Var name equals John B. Name equals John C. String name equals John asterisk D. Set name equals John. What will be the output of the following code? Number underscore list equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Print number underscore list 2 colon 4. A. 3, 4, B. 2, 3, C. 3, 4, 5, D. 2, 3, 4, star. In Python. Which keyword is used to create a function? A. Method B. Func C. Def star. What is the correct way to open a file named data.txt in Python for reading? A. File equals open data.txt R. B. File equals open data.txt W. C. File equals open data.txt Red. D. File equals open data.txt RT star. Which of the following is not a valid Python comment? A. Forward slash forward slash this is a comment. B. Hashtag this is a comment. Asterisk C, forward slash, asterisk, this is a comment. Asterisk slash D, this is a comment. What will be the output of the following code? X equals 10. Y equals 5. Print, X percent Y. A, 2, asterisk, B, 0, C, 1, D, 5. Which Python library is commonly used for data manipulation and analysis? A, pandas asterisk B, numpc, matplotlib D, sippy. What does the len function do in Python? A, converts a value to an integer. B. Returns the total count of elements in a list, tuple, or string. Asterisk C. Finds the maximum value in a list. D. Returns the square root of a number. In Python, which of the following loop types is indefinite? A. For loop B, while loop asterisk C, do while loop D, infinite loop. What is the correct way to import a module named math in Python? A. Include math B, import math asterisk C, require math D, add math. Remember to choose the most appropriate option for each question. Once you're ready, I can provide you with the answers and evaluate your performance. Answers. Which of the following is a correct way to declare a variable in Python? Correct answer, B, name equals John. What will be the output of the following code? Number underscore list equals, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Print, number underscore list, 2 colon 4. Correct answer, D, 2, 3, 4. In Python. Which keyword is used to create a function? Correct answer, C, def. What is the correct way to open a file named data.txt in Python for reading? Correct answer, D, file equals open, data.txt, RT. Which of the following is not a valid Python comment? Correct answer, A, forward slash forward slash this is a comment. What will be the output of the following code? X equals 10. Y equals 5. Print, X percent Y. Correct answer, A, 2. Which Python library is commonly used for data manipulation and analysis? Correct answer, A, pandas. What does the len function do in Python? Correct answer, B, returns the total count of elements in a list, tuple, or string. In Python, which of the following loop types is indefinite? Correct answer, B, while loop. What is the correct way to import a module named math in Python? Correct answer, B, import math. How did you do? I hope you enjoyed the quiz and found it helpful for testing your Python knowledge. If you have any more questions or need further clarification on any topic, feel free to ask. Happy coding. Can you provide additional resources for me to learn Python? Absolutely. Learning Python can be a rewarding experience, and there are plenty of great resources available to help you along the way. Here are some top-notch resources to aid your Python learning journey. Official Python Documentation The official Python website provides comprehensive documentation, tutorials, and guides for all Python versions. It covers everything from language basics to advanced topics. You can find it at https colon slash slash docs.python.org. Python.org's Beginner's Guide This Beginner's Guide on the official Python website is a great starting point for newcomers to Python. https colon slash slash wiki.python.org slash moin slash beginner's guide. Python for Everybody, Coursera an excellent beginner-friendly course by Dr. Charles Severance that covers Python programming concepts and their application. It's available on Coursera. https colon slash slash www.coursera.org slash specialization slash python. Automate the Boring Stuff with Python, a fantastic free online book by Al Swigart that teaches Python through practical examples and automating everyday tasks, https colon slash slash automatethebeeringstuff.com. Real Python, a website with a wealth of Python tutorials and articles. Ranging from beginner to advanced levels, https colon slash slash realpython.com. 
Code Academy's Learn Python, a step-by-step -step interactive course for beginners that teaches Python fundamentals. HTTPS colon slash slash www.codeacademy.com slash learn slash learn dash Python dash three. Python Crash Course, a book by Eric Mathis that provides a hands-on approach to learning Python, suitable for beginners. HTTPS colon slash slash nostarch.com slash Python Crash Course 2E. Google's Python Class, a free Python class from Google that includes lecture videos and exercises. HTTPS colon slash slash developers.google.com slash edu slash Python. Corey Schaefer's Python Tutorials, YouTube Corey Schaefer's YouTube channel offers a wide range of Python tutorials, including web development, data analysis, and more, https colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash user slash Schaefer 5. Python subreddit, Reddit's Python community is an excellent place to ask questions, share knowledge, and find helpful resources, https colon slash slash www.reddit.com slash r slash python slash. Remember that practice is essential for mastering any programming language. So, don't hesitate to write your own Python code, work on small projects, and experiment with the language. Happy learning, and have fun exploring the exciting world of Python. If you have any more questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask.